Hi, I am Jasraj from Texas Instruments. Hi, I am Salil from Texas Instruments. Since we all know conventional fossil fuel resources are depleting day by day and we are facing this energy crunch in India quite a lot. So today we have uh, Salil explaining us some product related to this renewable energy sources. So Salil, what do we have today? Uh, today we have a product from the renewable energy segment which is a solar MPPT charger developed at uh, India Power Design Services Center. So what it mean by MPPT charge controller Salil? MPPT means maximum power point tracking which okay. is an algorithm by which we take uh, maximum available power from a solar panel okay. into a storage device. Okay, so such as batteries? Yes, in this particular case a storage element is a battery. Okay. So, how does that help to our customers using this MPPT charge controller in their product? Yes, that is a very relevant question. The MPPT is nothing but an algorithm to track the maximum power point in a solar panel. Okay. So, it, it means that the solar panel when it operates uh, at full efficiency, it will be always at a particular voltage and current point. Okay. So, that point keeps varying with the environmental conditions. For example, right. by the insulation of the solar source or maybe by the ambient temperature and all that. But in the time of the day. Also. Time of the day, etc. So, right. MPPT's algorithm actually tracks this maximum power point irrespective of the ambient situations. Okay, so, so you mean solar charger efficiency goes high? Uh, the charger efficiency means it is a, the amount of power taken out of the panel and put it into a device will actually increase. Oh, so, if right. the measured efficiency may not be that, may not be uh, high. But the efficiency of energy conversion is more. Okay, so the, the, the energy which is extracted from panel that would be, that will be on more, higher side. Yeah, that will be the more. That is what uh, MPPT algorithm is trying to achieve. So what do we have in this particular board? What are the different blocks? Uh, in this particular block, we uh, board, what we have is a power stage to convert the solar, and, uh, so, solar input to a battery charging output. Okay. And of course, the intelligence required for implementing the ma maximum power point tracking, right. which is implemented through a MSP430 microcontroller. Okay. So, what are the interfaces all about? The interfaces are, this is the input which is coming from the solar panel okay. and this is the output to the battery. Okay. And, and then we have actually a, a load cutoff mechanism from the battery to the actual final load. Okay. So, this is the connection to the final load. And then we have a programming pins for the MSP430 okay. for uh, programming it. And we have a connector for interfacing to external indications, switches, etc. So that is here. That can be configured by user. That can be configured by the user. Okay. So what is typical power level this board will work at? This board is designed for a 10 ampere application. Okay. But it can be upgraded or downgraded for uh, different currents uh, depending upon the customer's requirement. Oh, so, customer can edit that? Yes. Okay. So, coming back to this MPPT algorithms, yes. so what are the different algorithms which can be used for tracking this MPPT? Uh, we have various uh, algorithms for uh, getting the mag MPPT tracking. Okay. Uh, like uh, we have the constant voltage algorithm, constant current algorithm, okay. perturb and observe algorithm or uh, the incremental conductance algorithm. Okay. Uh, out of these, the perturb and observe and the, MP, uh, the uh, incremental conductance algorithm are the most uh, efficient algorithms, okay. which are the ones implemented in this particular product. Okay, so those are all inside. Yes. So, one final question, is this board uh, available for our customers? Yes, the board can be uh, obtained uh, by contacting the product information center. Okay, Salit, thanks a lot. Thank you.